Hello and welcome everyone. This is Om Prakash Pandey once again. I am sure you will have been through the previous part of this session which is a quick overview of Azure Quantum. In this session, we are going to discuss about Azure Quantum Architecture. Now, one very important aspect that we discussed in the previous session, which I am sure you all will be able to revise it if you have not been through it earlier, is there are two important aspects over here. One is the core infrastructure where the, the quantum compute is being built, right? Or it is being taken up from one of the existing vendors and we have seen the list of vendors available. In this context, what we are going to discuss about is Azure Quantum, which is giving us the hardware environment and how this entire bunch of services can come together to form a solution. Now, if you see this diagram over here, it clearly talks about what is the key members over here. So one important aspect is your Azure Quantum and the data which is there, which is which will be part of your Azure storage. I don't want to get into more details of it right now, but you should evaluate what is data lake all about and especially data lake version 2. As part of Azure storage, we can have lot of heterogeneous information being stored as part of Azure storage. Now here, what one can do is, we can have a quantum development kit, the Q sharp code being written by the developer team, which is being working on Azure storage content. And along with this, we'll have our provider service, where we'll be publishing the final outcomes of this. So apart from cryptography, which is solutions, molecular studies, whatever uh, data that you have about aerodynamics, all these solution will be having a final outcome being pushed onto the provider service. And using the target, we'll be able to see the outcomes of these members. Let's take up a small example over here of quantum simulation. Now, one would know that for a aerodynamics or for molecular studies, what one needs to do is we need to have molecular structure over here, right? Different diagrams of it. You will have a qubit Hamilton, right? A basic algorithms like a matrix that you want, ma matrix that you want to specify over here. And we can convert that into an optimization problem. Now, once we are doing this, what we are trying to do is changing the temperature, changing the pressure, changing different set of parameters, changing the conditions around it, right? So with different change in terms of parameters, what will be the final outcome that you are having? Or, or uh, what will be the predicted properties that you will have over here? That is what is the core aspect of quantum simulation. Now, some of these things were <laughs> only trapped within the physics labs and they, they have been never being tried out in real world scenarios, right? Some things it was confined to science and scientists within a specialized kind of labs is now made available to the end users, right? Now here, if you see this diagram, it talks about the cloud architecture where one aspect of it, like Azure Quantum or Q Sharp, which has the algorithms with Jupyter Notebooks, right? all this source code has to be saved somewhere. Now this source code would be part of your GitHub environment. Now, once this code is being stored over here, it is being published and it is being used within your Azure Quantum. The outcome which is being received can be further processed or we can take help of Azure Functions. We can take help of Logic Apps. Now, once this processing is being done, once a series of workflow steps have been executed, it can be shared across with Power Automate. We can display the results using Power BI, right? We can take further inputs or further triggers for invoking these members by using Power Apps. Now, once you have the final outcomes being received, we can showcase on the mobile device. We can showcase on the next set of members. Now, after knowing all these things, after knowing these kind of architectures, one would definitely be interested, Om Prakash, can we actually implement this? Can we see these things in action? Yes, we can. A quick uh, overview which I had mentioned in the previous session where I said, you have credits available for $500. And even if you are trying out certain things for one hour or so, or even in, in between that, so within 60 minutes, it's absolutely free. So anyone who would want to get started with it, 
my request to all of you all have some patience because creating this service it takes some time right once this service gets created you already have set of sample templates available uh, i would say hello world kind of stuff or baby steps of getting into quantum compute like we mentioned it will automatically create a storage account for you where all the contents can be saved and uploaded and from the job perspective it can take up the job from the contents that uh, it can be a uh, job can be triggered from the storage content that we have what one can do is we can go to our azure marketplace right and check for azure quantum now since this is in preview it will take some time to be publicly available right what microsoft is doing is they are promoting these things for public consumption so one would easily go ahead check for quantum and the first step over here is creating a quantum workspace right like your data bricks and other uh, high end technologies here you have a quantum workspace that one can create and just to mention over here if you see as part of marketplace you can leverage upon the partner solutions as well like inq rigeti sqbm honeywell solutions right quantum safe open ssh so there are lot of options available my recommendation right now to begin with go for quantum workspaces right that will be the first entry point over here now once you have got your service created the next step over here would be creating a quantum workspace now while you are creating a quantum workspace please make sure you go for free options over here like rigeti or you can go for microsoft qi that will be the next set of options from learn and development center now once you have your workspace created you can see i have already mentioned my name over here right so you can whatever name you would want to give that's up to you you can go to the operation section where you have notebooks facility available which could be a python or ipython or q sharp whichever technology or language you are comfortable with you can use that most of the examples which i have seen is using q sharp right you can refer to python kernel as well which can help you make sure you write the code faster and you have to download and make this template available into vs code now once you have done this you can use some of the sample notebooks over here right you can create it within your environment within your workspace and once this notebook is being created we can go ahead and execute that now apart from the creation of these resources there are a lot of documentation elements which are available on microsoft environment microsoft learn you have complete learning steps or learning path which is available for it you all can go through that and you can avail some of the free credits for trying out on azure quantum right so i will be sharing some of these links as part of the chat make sure you all go through it thank you very much for attending this session and i hope it was a great experience for all of you all we have many such videos which will be coming up in the near future so please stay tuned to our youtube channel thank you very much once again